Good afternoon po. I am Marky C. Reyes from BSCP E31. Today, I am presenting to you the GR number 1683-38. But before we proceed to the case, let me explain what is RA4200 or the Anti-War Tapping Law. RA4200 is an act to prohibit and penalize war tapping and other related violations of the privacy of communication and for other purposes. Now, we can proceed to our first question, which is what is the case all about? The GR number 168338 is a petition for the writs of certiorari and prohibition to set aside acts, issuances, and orders of Respondent Secretary of Justice Raul M. Gonzalez and the National Telecommunication Commission, particularly an NTC press release dated June 11, 2005, warning radio and television stations against airing tape conversations allegedly between President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and Commission and Elections Commissioner Virgilio Garciliano under pain of suspension or revocation of their airway licenses. The second question is, what are the facts of the case? On June 5, 2005, Press Secretary Ignacio Boni told reporters that the opposition was planning to destabilize the administration by releasing an audio tape of a mobile phone conversation allegedly between the President of the Philippines, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and a high-ranking official of the COMELEC. The conversation is about the manipulation of 2004 presidential election which was instructed by Arroyo to win the election. On June 8, 2005, the respondent DOJ Secretary Raul Gonzalez warned reporters that those who had copies of the compact disc and those broadcasting or publishing its contents could be held liable under the Anti-Wiretapping Act. These persons included Secretary Bunye and Attorney Pagia. He also stated that persons possessing or airing said tapes were committing a continuing offense subject to the arrest by anybody who had personal knowledge if the crime was committed or was being committed in their presence. On June 11, 2005, the NTC issued a press release wherein it pronounced that the said audio tape had been not duly authenticated nor the tapes contain an accurate or truthful representation of what was recorded therein. As such, the NTC warned the broadcast or airing of such False information and or willful misrepresentation shall be just cause for the suspension, revocation, and or cancellation of the licenses or authorizations issued to the said companies. Due to the aforementioned events, Petitioner Chavez filed a petition under Rule 65 of the Rules of Court against Respondent Secretary Gonzalez and the NTC praying for the issuance of the writs of certiorari and prohibition as extraordinary legal remedy to annul void proceedings and to prevent unlawful and constitutional and oppressive exercise of authority by the respondents. Third question is, what are the issues of the case? First, whether or not the airing of the said wart of conversation passed the clear and present danger rule which was done to test the content-based restriction. Second, whether or not the airing of the said wiretap conversation by the broadcasting companies violates RA4200. Next question is, what are the ruling of the Supreme Court? No law shall be passed abridging the freedom of speech, of expression, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances. In the Philippines, the primacy and high esteem accorded freedom of expression is a fundamental postulate of our constitutional system. This right was elevated to constitutional status in the 1935, the 1973, and the 1987 constitutions, reflecting our own lesson of history, both political and legal, that freedom of speech is an indispensable condition for nearly every other form of freedom. Freedom or freedom of speech 
end of the press means something more than the right to approve existing political beliefs or economic arrangements, to lend support to official measures, and to take refuge in the existing climate of opinion on any matter of public consequence. Philippine jurisprudence, even as early as the period under 1935 Constitution, has recognized four aspects of freedom of the press. These are freedom from prior restraint, freedom from punishment subsequent to publication, freedom of access to information, and freedom of circulation. The, der the determination in every case of whether there is an impermissible restraint of freedom of speech has always been based on the circumstances of each case, including the nature of restraint. The last question is, what are your takeaways or learnings from the case? Freedom of expression is the foundation of a free, open, and democratic society. Freedom of expression is an indispensable condition to the exercise of almost all other civil and political rights. No society can remain free, open, and democratic without freedom of expression. Freedom of expression guarantees full, spirited, and even contentious discussion of all social, economic, and political issues. To survive, a free and democratic society must zealously safeguard freedom of expression. The function of the freedom of expression is to steer disputes. It may indeed best serve its high purpose when it induces a condition of unrest, creates dissatisfaction with conditions as they are, or even steers people with anger. Speech is often provocative and challenging. It may strike at prejudice and preconceptions and have profound unsettling effects as it presses for acceptance of an idea. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you.